Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my 3D printed mechanical counter that I designed in SketchUp. All links to the files can be found in the description down below. So here's all the 3D printed parts you'll need. There are 18 parts in total. As well, you will also need one of these small stepper motors, two 316 steel rods in a length of 2 and 1 quarter and a 2 and 3 quarters, as well as 10 one eighths by three quarters machine screws as well as two nuts. So to start off with, here's all the pieces you need to assemble the first panel. And here it is fully assembled. Next, you're gonna add the top and bottom panels to the side panel. Note that the thicker part of the top panel ends up closer to the motor panel. Next, you're gonna add the adapter to the motor And after that, we're going to assemble the number wheels. Note that there are two different number wheels. Two of them have extra pegs on top, and the other one doesn't. So what you want to do next is add the carry wheels to the number wheels, while making sure the notch lines up with the number 7 on each wheel. Then after that, you're going to add the two normal gears, just as shown. Next, you're going to use your 2 and 1 quarter inch rod, and slide the first number wheel on, and align it with the pins, then a washer. Then the second number wheel, and then another washer, then the final number wheel, then finally one last washer. And after that, you're going to take your modified 8 tooth gear and slide it onto your 2 and 3 fourth inch rod, then place it in while lining up the gears. And the final step is to attach the final panel and screw everything tight. Here's the mechanical counter fully assembled. You can see I colored in the numbers so you can see them better. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos on this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.